Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Ellie. And I'm Mary. And today is Thursday, November 30th. Please rise for a moment of silence and the pledge to the flag. Attention students, the last day for audition signups is today in the Student Activities Office for those interested in auditioning for this year's spring musical, Beauty and the Beast. We are not only looking for a large cast, but auditions will be held for those interested in playing in the pit. Any musicians interested may also sign up in the Student Activities Office. Auditions are set for two days. December 4th will be vocal auditions and December 5th will be dance auditions beginning at 3.30 p.m. You must be present on both days to be considered for the musical. Callbacks are scheduled for Wednesday, December 6th. Pit auditions are Tuesday, December 5th, and Friday, December 8th, with designated times. Beauty and the Beast is scheduled to run on April 12th, 13th, and 14th, 2018. For those who are interested in working backstage, more information will follow as to how you can get involved. The show will be directed and choreographed by Mr. Gonzalez, with vocal direction by Mrs. Osinski, and orchestra director direction by Mrs. Klinger, and Mr. Bischoff as technical director. Feel free to email Mr. Gonzalez if you have any questions. We look forward to seeing you there. Seniors, on December 12th, EHS will be holding a FAFSA completion night. In conjunction with FIA to senior parents completing the free application for student aid on Wednesday, December 12th, 2017. Two sessions will be offered and parents should reserve a time by signing up on Sign Up Genius. Session times are 5 o'clock to 5.45 and 5.45 to 6.30 in the high school cafeteria. The sign-up is posted on the Class of 2018 Schoology's webpage. Dual enrollment is now open for the spring 2018. Please check out the Guidance Dual Enrollment website for links to the courses available and the application. There are also hard copies in the Guidance Office. Do not submit any money. Hack will bill you when they get the application. Please have the completed application packet to Guidance by December 15, 2017. Also check out the other dual enrollment opportunities on the Guidance website. Now over to Ethan with the news. Howdy. Slobodan Praliak, a commander of Bosnian Croat forces for the former for the former Yugoslav Republic, died while on trial for war crimes yesterday. When the judge had announced that his 20-year prison sentence was to be upheld, Praliak reportedly shouted, I reject the verdict. I'm not a war criminal. What I am drinking now is poison. He then proceeded to drink a small liquid from a small vial. He died in the hospital later that day. Democratic elections occurred in Honduras on Sunday, with both the current president and his contender vying for the presidency. The U.S. state has issued informal statements via social media that they hope the Honduran citizens respect the vote regardless of the outcome. However, Honduran elections have a reputation for being somewhat illegitimate, and many people have already taken to the streets in protest. President Donald Trump has announced his plan to issue new trade sanctions against North Korea following their testing of an intercontinental ballistic missile on Wednesday. The missile proved to be capable of hitting the U.S. mainland, with a possibility of hitting cities such as Seattle or Portland. The successful test has prompted an emergency U.N. Security Council meeting. Today is the birthday of Mark Twain, born in 1835. Twain was an American author most famous for his novel, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, and its sequel, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Twain wrote in the common language of the time, so it was easier for men, women, and children alike to read his entertaining stories. He was also a pretty funny guy, and his sense of humor showed through his works. The title of his book, The Gilded Age, A Tale of Today, suggested that the era he was living in was the Golden Age of America, but the actual book, however, was a summary of all the political corruption and greed that was taking place in the post-Civil War era. Man, I bet he was a real twain for those he was making fun of. Ah, oh, now over the Seth Squared with the lunch. Today for lunch, we have a hot dog on a roll. Uh, a southern turkey BBQ with, what was that? The whole grain roll. Whole gra a four Ooh. meat or four cheese pizza. Turkey club with toast. Crispy chicken salad. Mmm. Fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin. Sauerkraut. Baked beans. Coleslaw. Toss salad. Fresh broccoli or cucumbers and dip. Applesauce and fresh fruit or a slushy. Slushy! Woo! Woo!
in sports resorts. It's that time of year again to go nuts for donuts. That's right. Student Council is running the annual Christmas charity homeroom competition this year. The homeroom that raises the most money will get a deluxe donut party. Deluxe? What's that? That is a donut party with all the fixings. Hot chocolate, milk, O.J. Simpson, fruit, bagels, Christmas cookies. You name it and you got it. And all that happens on December 22nd, the day you leave for a break. So what a great way to end the year before Christmas break than with a spread like the likes of, of which Buddy the Elf has ever seen. Does second place get anything? Yuppers. The homeroom that gets second place will get a regular donut party. So just, just donuts. Which is still pretty cool. And those donuts will also be there on December 22nd before you leave for break. Does third place get anything? The rumor is their homeroom gets high fives from Mr. Marzok on December 22nd. That prize sounds better than the rest. So don't be a cotton-headed ninny muggins and help out some local effort of families this holiday season. Every little bit counts. And don't forget to bring in your loose change during lunch. That's right. <coughs> Student council is collecting trays at each lunch period for 25 cents. That is so awesome. I'm too lazy to take my tray up anyway. And this way, someone else is doing it for me and I'm helping a great cause at the same time. That is pretty sweet. Sweeter than a candy cane. So talk to your homeroom teacher to see how you can spread Christmas cheer for all the world to hear this holiday season. <coughs> now over to the thought of the day. Hello, my name is Javonna Brown, and I have the quote for today. Don't, my quote is, don't worry about the failures. Worry about the chances you miss when you don't even try by Jack Canfield. This is inspirational because if you worry about fa failures, you might just be distracted by thinking about failing and miss out on stuff you didn't even try. Um, Phoebe was fired from Fraser, and then she became a star on the TV show Friends. She was very upset at first, but then she didn't give up, and then she is a huge success because lots of people like Friends. Uh, don't ever not try something because you think you might fail. Try your best, and if you fail, that's okay. No one's perfect. Attention seniors, don't miss out on your opportunity to get a genuine Effort of Class of 2018 shirt. You have choices of a t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt, or sweatshirt in both traditional cotton or performance material. Ooh. Order forms are available on the senior webpage on Schoology in the Class of 2018 group from any of your senior class officers who still need to order their shirts or from Mr. Geyer in room 129. The deadline for placing an order is this Friday, December 1st. That's tomorrow. All orders and payments can be turned into Mr. Geyer in room 129. Seniors, there will be a fast food cafe on December 5th during all lunches. This will be for you to sign up for a fast food ID and will only take a few minutes. You will need a fast food ID to complete the fast food and now is the time to do it. Come to the fast food table at lunch or on December 5th. Well, that's it for us today. Have a great day. Have Ephrata. an exceptional day, Ephrata. Oh. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, 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 b